Welcome back. Let's take a look at these pretty eggs in a basket. We see that we've made an egg class and a basket class, so we have a container for eggs. Let's look at our main. In our main, I have this dictionary of egg data where I give the bird and the color of his eggs, or I should say her eggs. When I put double asterisk in front of that egg data, then emu, not as a string, but as an attribute, goes in equal to black on the argument list, and ostrich equal to speckled yellow. So we're sticking that into our basket, and we'll look back and see what happens now. Here we are in our magic initializer. Then all those keyworded arguments that we put in there with the double asterisk got wrapped back up into a dictionary. So we have the same dictionary as we had before. And we're given max eggs equals 12, which can be changed. We're keeping a list of our eggs because we are a container. That's a good way to do it. And remembering our max eggs. And at this moment, we have zero eggs. Now for each bird type an egg dick. So if egg dick came in with some key value pairs, we're going through each of those keys and we're going to add egg bird type and egg dick a bird type. So we're going to add each bird type and its egg color. Add egg then, a very useful thing to have because I can call it from inside my class and outside my class. If I already have my maximum number of eggs, you can't add another egg, so I'm going to raise a value error. Otherwise, I'm going to make an egg of that bird type and that color. And then I'll append it and add it to my number of eggs. So that's good. So in my init here, I keep adding each egg, so I'm all done filling up our basket with eggs was our line 52 that's all done now i'm just going to look at the keys and i'm going to make a list of them so that i can continue testing by taking a random bird and try to add him in as soon as i get that value error i can't do it anymore i print the message that comes out and then i will print what comes from basket report so you'll see that only 12 are allowed in this basket. That was the value error being printed out. Let's look at our report. Our report is going to start with this string and we'll keep adding in more string. And then we'll return that report to print. Okay, it starts with basket for 12 eggs with how many eggs there are in at this time, which was 12 when we printed them. Then I want to know how much space to leave for an egg number. I'm going to give each egg an egg number. Let me come back to this line. You'll see why. My report then, I'm going to add to it the new line join of these strings. I am going to print out I. And we see that comes from our enumerate. So we're going to enumerate our eggs. And because at the end of our enumeration call, we're saying start equals one, our first egg will be one. And that's kind of friendly. And then here's the bird coming out. And then I'm going to ask the bird to report himself. I'm going to sort by the bird type the eggs by the bird type. Looking back up at an egg, it has the bird type, for instance, a robin. So we are going to have each egg then report itself here. When it reports itself, it reports its color and its bird type, egg. Now the number width. I want these numbers to go from 1 to 12. Well, it could be I have a huge basket. It goes to 4,322. And I want my output to be lined up correctly. So I take my largest number that I'm going to get here, which will be the maximum number of eggs and the length of that. So because we have 12, that'll be 2. 
And that is what I'm going to put for the width of my eye. That's what gave me these numbers with the colons. All lined up nicely. Okay, that was that practice. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next lab.